going to speak to you about the different types of elements allowed to be created and edited and managed within this content management system. Different types of elements that you can add or edit include text, which would be text, links, you can add PDF downloads if you want, you can even put images inside of that text. It's anything that is just, it doesn't have a specific function other than just to serve for information. A blog, which is a list of news or information, announcement type of things. In your case, we use the blog for posting every time that you guys create a water well. You can also add a calendar, which is types of uh, dates, list of dates, and calendar view or list view. You can have a specific donation element, an evite, which is inviting friends, files and links, a form, which allows you to capture information of any type that you choose, image, which includes a single image or an image gallery, place for if you wanted to add another login for people to log in, which is not really necessary for you, but you can add it if you want, and a list of products. And then there's an option for text. So any one of those elements can be added in any spot on your site. The way you add an element is you go to the bottom of an editable region, which we speak about in another video, and you just choose, choose Add Element. Pick the element that you want, and you choose Add, and then you're able to edit to your heart's desire. Editing a region. I'm sorry, editing a, an element rather. What you want to do in this case on with text, you just to you mouse over text and choose settings. And you can highlight and edit to your heart's content. Quick thing to note about elements are that each one of them have settings. You can also move elements or around by choosing move up or down directly. Sometimes dragging can be a little bit complicated, especially when you get in areas over here on the side. You can delete an element directly from here if you'd like. I'm going to make a note about the settings in each one. I have a lot of the same features. If you mouse over here under settings and choose settings, under users and roles, you can choose who you want to view it. So let's say you're creating an element and you don't want it to be viewed by anyone until you're ready. You just want to deselect this everyone in the world and select users who are logged in and that way only you who are logged in can see that element and you can let it sit like that for however long you want and it will only be made available for view whenever you choose everyone in the world. So what that allows you to do is if you have, let's say, a, a piece of information you want to hold off to be shown, you can choose to hide it at that point. The next thing I'd like to make note of is you can manually enter the region you would like this piece of element to show in, and you can choose that here. You can see all the different regions that are available. Now keep in mind some of these have specific heights and specific sizes so if it's a lot of content it's not going to fit. It's going to stick out and it won't provide the best viewing experience for your users. Another thing I would like to make note of when you're creating an, an element within this site on any page you can copy an element that already exists anywhere else on your site, which basically means that you don't have to create it twice, you can copy it from another spot and all the changes that you make in one will be shown in the other. So if I would like to copy this image gallery here, choose copy an element, and it's going to give me a list of every element that exists on your site. So I'm going to go down here to home. The first name 
is the page that it's on, which is home. The second is the name of the element. And the third is the editable region that it sits in currently. So we've named this image, this slideshow here, image slideshow. And we know that it's in the main content and it's on the home page. So I'm going to click that and choose add. And now I've got two duplicated items. And the cool thing about this is, is you can have the same thing copied multiple times on multiple different pages. And you can edit one and it will affect all of them. If you delete a copy or a mirrored one, so for example, if I delete this one that I've just copied, it's not going to affect the original. But if I delete the original, it will affect all the other ones. So think of it like a room full of mirrors. If you smash one mirror, all the other mirrors still reflect. But if you delete the image that is being reflected by all the mirrors, then, you've, uh, then you're going to lose the reflection of the mirrors don't work anymore. Nothing to reflect. An important note to make about the blog, for example, some of these elements, like blogs, you can actually copy and, and mimic one blog to another, but you can also write custom posts to the blog that is mirroring another blog. So in this case, if I mouse over blog and click on settings, you can see that I've chosen to display posts from other blogs on this website which will take posts from the blog section and put them on this page and it's only going to show the latest one because I've shown that I only want the post count to be one which only shows the latest one but if I write a new post to this blog it will also show on this blog only but the other blog that I'm displaying posts from will not show so the key thing is when you're messing with blogs, and we'll talk about this in a little bit in a little more detail, when you're editing blogs, just keep in mind that you want to have one source as much as possible where you write the blogs from and then have copies in different spots to show the different um, things of that blog you're trying to mirror or copy in that specific spot. So let's say on the home page you only want to show the latest one, so I would select I want to mirror this blog, display that post, and I'm going to choose one. But in another spot on your site, you might want to show three or four things. So in that case, I'm going to choose this and three or four. But I would add the post on the place I want to reflect because if I add three or four blogs that are displaying posts from the main one and I start adding blogs in the copy, then all the other ones are not going to reflect appropriately. And we'll get into that in a little more detail in a different video.